Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Well, you guys, Gary and I have reached the point in our deck build where we need to go on a supply run and go get a few things. Yep. We uh, need uh, quite a few things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have worked ourselves pretty much out of materials. Yeah, we've got like, I don't know, a couple of handfuls of screws left. Nope. Granted, I do have a lot of those uh, blocking boards cut. Uh, from when Tara and Jason were out, which thanks again, White Rock Home said for helping us. But we don't have enough screws to put them all in. Um, yep. And we definitely need some more boards because once those blocks are put in and all the blocking is done, it's time to go up higher and get the area connected to our existing roof and get that covered deck going. So yes, it's exciting guys. Very, very exciting. Well, we got a very busy day today. We're going to run our errands in Fort Smith and then come home and see how far we can get uh, going on this. And we're just going to bring you guys along for today's adventure. So mm. buckle up and let's enjoy. Let's do it. So how'd you sleep last night, baby? So I slept pretty good. It was, uh, you know, nice and cozy a bit. <laughs> you were really tired this morning when you woke up. Yes, I, uh, man. I, I slept like a rock, but I uh, I woke up at six, got everybody up, and snuggled right back into bed. I was uh, definitely needing that little bit of sleep because I feel a lot better today. Yeah. A lot better. This morning, Gary woke me up with the kids, and I went down and I got them to the bus stop, and I took Tiny because it was still pretty freezing outside. We had like... Um, a tiny bit of snow last night, but it was just enough to cover the windshields. And then like, as soon as the sun came out, it was melted. Was there a little bit of snow this morning? There was, there was a tiny little bit on the car and on um, like the windshield and stuff like that, like frosty, more, yeah. more frost than snow. Okay. Yeah. But I went down to the bus stop with the kids and tiny cause it was so cold. And man, coming up after dropping the kids off at the bus, Tiny was spinning its wheels. I got stuck in the mud. I'm out there with my freaking bonnet and slippers on. And I'm like, man, I can't <laughs> slipping around, sliding around. Anthony and Rox had to get out and like push Tiny up a little bit so I can get out of that mud. And it, thank God for Anthony, Anthony and Rox. We finally got back up there, but that leads us to something else. Um, we're starting to make all of our preparations and our plans for the front mud room. And we know that we're going to have to get some dirt slash, you know, something brought in or at least that's what we were talking about originally. And now because our front driveway with all of this bad weather that we've had, it's getting to the point where we can't really, we're having a hard time getting in and out without being in biggie. Yep. And so we're going to definitely have to address that really soon, like sooner than later, because this morning I was stuck in the mud. So yeah, yeah, it makes it, uh, makes it a little bit interesting. I'm not going to lie, mm -hmm. but it is, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> we, uh, we do have biggie for, you know, being able to get in and out. If we do end up actually getting stuck on our hill. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't want that to be the case. No. I've got, I've got to make a few phone calls uh, today while we're out and about today. Yep. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that addressed this week. Because this week's looking absolutely beautiful. It is. And we should be able to get a lot done. So The very first stop that we're going to make in town uh, is going to be in Boonville. We got to get some uh, some gas for old Biggie because she's mighty thirsty. And we got to make that long trek into uh, to Fort Smith. So. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see how this day progresses, and uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and go on Casey's rewards on my phone and uh, input our points because I know we bracked up some points. Okay. I use it every now and then, but I try not to use it for like two months. Yeah, and every time that I go to that gas station, I always use your phone number, so. You. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, that's awesome. I don't know, does that mean that we're getting that off or is that how much we're gonna pay per gallon? That's what we're getting off. We're getting 89 cents a gallon off. That's a pretty good reward. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I think that's for 20 gallons. It is, it's for 20 gallons. Right now, the uh, regular unleaded is 2.89. Yeah, so we should be so paying we should be $2. $2. 
That's freaking awesome, especially with how expensive gas has been lately. To pay $2, well, roughly, because, yeah, 89 cents off. So, yeah, $2 a gallon. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That is super cool. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys use the Casey's Rewards or not, but we do. And check that out. 89 cents a gallon off. I might have been able to make that, but worth it any guesses you guys want to play high or lower we haven't played this with you guys for a long time what's your guess baby where are we at right now first off we're at a quarter of a tank so okay let's see and 30, that 30 divided by four <laughs> is roughly seven a little over seven gallons so that will be 21 gallons, 22-ish, let's say, at $2. So I'm gonna say that, hey, if it's $44, that would be nice. That We haven't had a $44 <laughs> fill no, in Biggie like ever. Ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> well, anytime I use this, uh, then I, I get pretty close to that. So let's see. Are we doing prices right rules? I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be about $44. $44. It's gonna be for 22 gallons. Okay. So $44, 22 gallons. Price is right rules? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. So he says, he says 40. Now you can't stop it early. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll let it go. All right. Gary says, $44, 22 gallons, price is right rules. I'm gonna bet a dollar, Bob, a dollar. <laughs> that way I don't go over. <laughs> Watch him, no cheating now, babe, no cheating now. And I'm gonna go get Gary a Gatorade and get me a snack, so. All right. All right. It's gonna be more because of that ninth. Okay, so so far we're at 40 and 18. It stopped because that's what it, the price was gonna be at. So, put that back. And I have to <laughs> go back in it. All right. So <laughs> they wouldn't let me go any further. So 4018, you can go ahead and put that in my in there. And now we gotta pay 289. Oh for no. The remainder. Oh, for the two gallons. I see. Or the uh or the twenty left. the twenty gallon cap that they would give you. Okay. So now it's gonna be more no matter what, I feel like, but we'll see. You got $4? <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> you were so close though. See, I said 22, a little like 22.19. so close. I know this truck, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, we'll so still call it a win for you. 46.36. You won because it's price right rules and you want the dollar. <laughs> I bid a dollar. <laughs> I swear, man, that shouldn't be legal. <laughs> They're pulling up our order right now. Sorry, I gotta, got us a few things. Got some more structural GRK screws, R4, meant for framing as well as decking. So they're good for treated wood and all that fun stuff. Got some more CLR because, you know, I got to clean some stuff. But I also got me and Mal a work bag. We've been needing one of those. You know, one where <laughs> we can put the ha uh, hammer in, we can put drill bits or whatever, screws, whatever we want in a nice bag. I usually always wear my apron or when I'm out and about in town, I wear, you know, fanny packs. Yep. But I'm pretty sure that having an actual... Um, Tool belt will help us out. It should. Yeah. It should. We All gotta right. get on over there. 
because they're pulling our stuff around. Ooh. Ooh. We didn't have to pick it this time. They actually picked it all for us, which is awesome. I wonder if they're gonna load it for us too, though. They're gonna help us. And they're gonna help us. Help is better than, uh, than not. Yeah. Especially when you're getting that much wood. Let's get ready to play some Jenga. Hey. Morning, morning. All righty. So that's gonna come on in first and then we'll put those up on top. Uh, taking the whole thing? Yeah, those yep. are all his. Okay. Come on in. And then come up. Yeah. Got a knife? Oh, we got a knife. I don't have oh. mine on. This big old fanny pack and no knife. You want to hop up here? Yeah. Hop up here. And we're going to watch out for the ball. Yep. But I got these boards if we have to put one like right here. And yeah. Set something on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Y'all having a good day today? Blast. Oh, good. Heck yes. Watch this up. There you go. Here's a Justin. Mm. How heavy are they for sliding? They're a bit heavy. Mm. Yeah. I will be better outside, Gary. I'm going to push. I'll pop them on there. Huh? Yeah. I'll be better pushing or something. Just in case. I got steel toes on, I ain't worried. <laughs> now we can come probably. Yep. Oh, these are gonna be fun to lift up on the. Yeah, exactly. These are gonna be a blast. I'm already getting hot. Already getting hot. You got it, baby? I can already feel by the way that this looked, the way we was doing this, that this was. Uh, it's so it? Do you want to push it? Push it! Push, push it. it real good! Bum, 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 See if that will Ooh, baby, baby. rotate it in. Yeah! Alright. Yeah. Alright. Oh, right, you guys rock. Yeah, thank you for all your help, man. No you guys rock. You too, thank, thank you, you thank for you. your help. All right. And in fact, let me move this over. Like that. And like that. Just let them drop if you can. Go over here. I don't want too much weight on the tongue. Ooh. Now we got three left. Oh, 
And three. We'll make sure that they don't go nowhere. Don't see these going anywhere. No, nope, they're pretty locked in there. This one's a little. But it ain't going far if it moves. <sighs> Click your ticket. Yep. All Check. right, fam. We have got our lumber picked, loaded, strapped down mighty good. If I don't say so myself. Yeah, that guy's. Uh, that guy's there. It ain't going nowhere. I doubt it. I doubt it. Biggie's uh, Biggie feeling is loaded it. down. <laughs> Definitely feeling it a little bit. Or you can feel the butt end sort of loaded down and actually hitting the, you know, the uh, loading or the towing suspension or whatever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So this should make for a smoother ride. Yeah. Yeah. This it's, would be good. It's normally always smoother with a load. Yes, yes it is. Well, it so. makes, makes it nice. Now we just gotta go, do the long trek home. Yep, it's gonna be about another hour or so until we get there. So mm -hmm. you guys get to go in like hyper speed. I wish we could go that fast in real life, much like a lot of the work that we do, but hey, it's all good. It's, it's all, all good. good. It's a beautiful, bright, sunshiny day. I know I've said that probably three times or so in this video. I'm enjoying the nice vitamin D. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we're gonna turn up the radio. We're gonna make the trip home, enjoy the scenery. And yeah, we'll catch you back on the 41.36. Oh yeah. I know what you're thinking. Laundry. That's no fun. And you're right. <laughs> Laundry stinks. You gotta sort your clothes. You gotta load the machine. All the while, you're dealing with some pretty stinky stuff. Ew! Not only are you trying to get a mess cleaned up, but oftentimes you make a mess while you're doing it. Those really heavy liquid detergent bottles they spill, they make a mess, and they're not very good for the environment. Thankfully, there's Earth Breeze. Unlike liquid powder or capsule detergent, Earth Breeze looks like a dryer sheet, but it's actually condensed laundry detergent. And it couldn't be easier. You just take a sheet, put it right inside, and let it do all the work. Earth Breeze fights everyday stains and odors giving you an amazing clean every time. Earth Breeze comes in plastic-free packaging and their eco sheets dissolve quickly in water. Earth Breeze is dermatologist tested and hypoallergenic. It's free of bleach and dyes and it's perfect for every load that I have. Bedding, towels, even my delicates. The best part is that you'll never run out of detergent again, thanks to Earth Breeze flexible subscription plan. You can adjust Cancel, pause at any time with no additional penalties or fees. You save a whopping 40% when you subscribe and shipping is always free. Go to earthbreeze.com slash simple life and get 40% off. You heard that right. Earthbreeze.com slash simple life to get 40% off your subscription. We put the link down in the description below but I also pinned it to the top of the comment section. Don't miss out, because this is some very good stuff, great for the environment, 
And it does a very nice job cleaning up our laundry, if I do say so myself. And the smell is amazing. If you're ready for your laundry problems to go by like a breeze, make sure to check out Earth Breeze. Say goodbye to big plastic jugs, slopping liquid, powdery messes, and hello to the future of laundry. So I wanna say a quick thank you to Earth Breeze for not only sponsoring today's video, but for upping my laundry game and making it go by in a breeze. If you guys wanna save 40% on your subscription today, make sure to check the link down in the description below. I also pinned it to the top of the comment section, but you're gonna to wanna to go to www.earthbreeze.com slash simple life, get 40% off of your subscription. You're gonna love it. All right, well, my laundry is done and it's time for us to get back at it. Let's get it. We made it back to the 41.36. It's actually another day because yep. it got a little late in the afternoon. But anyway, today we are gonna get back after it, friends. Um, we have gotten all the lumber and stuff here so we can get back to work on our beautiful deck build. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's getting together really, really well. There is something that we're gonna have to uh, mess with before we can get to all that materials though. I was uh, looking up there and I was like, all right, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to get it yesterday, you know? And I realized something uh -oh. and we're gonna wanna fix it before uh, we put the post in. So I'll bring you along and I'll show you what, uh, what we're gonna have to mess around with. I don't know if I should be scared or if I should be excited. <laughs> Let's find out. I have a solution. But for you to see what I'm talking about, I'm gonna have you climb on up here. Look at this band board and just look straight down it and see if you can see what I uh, what I see. So bring the folks with you. Do you see what I see? Yep. Okay, let's find out. All right. Do you see what I see? Um. <laughs> All right here. <laughs> A little low. <laughs> the dip. Yeah, a little low right come there. Up. So I was like, well, <coughs> all right, what, what's going on exactly? You know, if you want, you can go ahead and throw a level up on this guy, on this joist, and check the level on that. So you can see we're, uh, we're level. We're level. You know, we're not touching here or there, which I was, if, I was gonna address after the fact but with how much it dips down right there that would mean that i would really have to plan a lot more over here than i want to which i knew i was gonna have to plan a little bit all right we're not we're not talking a whole lot like barely like this much of each tail end of the joist maybe so i'm looking at it grab that level i'll have you come on down so i have checked that all the way down all right. Mm -hmm. All right here, before it starts to go down, you can actually see it in this band board. Right. Where it drops. Just a little it's bit. It's really right here where it's like, oh my goodness, in a sense, you know, when you're looking down it. But this whole way over, it continues it all the way to the end. So it's like almost half of the deck, but that's on the joists. You can go up, I'll bring you guys up there. <laughs> we level, and that's what it's showing me in eyeball wise. And that's about level, which I'm about that high off that little bit all the way down because it continues that from there to here, which it looks like, you know, that would be cool, but it still ain't level on that last one. So what I'm gonna have to do is this. 
all of these ends of the joists from right here. So I'm not, I'm not gonna do that one. I'm gonna undo this joist all the way down. Oh joy. Yeah. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shim it. And we'll just pack some shims underneath there on this side right there. And then we'll, we'll re-secure it. Which sounds like, you know, a lot of work and headache, but it's gonna be a lot more of a headache for me personally every time I sleep up there and I look out at my deck and my deck's got a wave in it. You'll never get to sleep. What are you talking about? I'll never about? get to You'll sleep. You'll never no, get exactly. to sleep. <laughs> You'll be this thinking is that perfect. all night long. Thankfully, I checked all the way down, coming down. Okay. And it's, this is perfect. Like there are some spots where I'm gonna have to shave a little bit, which I knew because of the six inch level. But like I said, if I try to get it to be flat off of that point, which is the lowest point, you're talking about like an inch off of the, all the joists around to try to take out that bubble or that wave. I ain't doing that. <laughs> it's all right. We'll be able to do it with this nice saw and we'll be able to cut out our shims with the scrap wood that we got. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I guess uh, I'm going to be Cutmaster 5000. I'll make you a bunch of shims. And then, uh, Gary, you can start unscrewing and I'll hand them to you. And hopefully we'll get this done really quickly because that wood in the back of the truck is calling our name. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. And, and the downside is, is all the all the big long boards we got to pull out first before we start getting all the posts. So, joy! <laughs> Put a break. There's not a cloud in the sky. Don't bring a, <laughs> don't bring a rain cloud around here. <laughs> no, today's gonna be a good day, guys. Oh, we're gonna, gonna try. We're day. gonna try to get as much of this stuff done as possible. And then um, what we're gonna try to do is we gotta put in some posts like this, pretty much straight up there. And uh, we got it. We're trying to get ourselves ready to build the other part of the roof that's going to connect to this. Now, real quick before we get to work, Gary, um, you want to tell them what kind of roof we're doing and what we're doing there? Yeah. So I don't know if uh, the Simple Life Reclaim folks actually know. I know the Real Talk people do. Yeah. Real Talk um, with SLR. Shameless plug over there behind so the scenes. I was planning on originally a 20 foot, like, you know, A frame type thing going off the roof coming out then i came out here i started looking around i was like well that would have put the posts like right in the middle of that bay and the post in that middle of that bay which technically i guess i could do but my ocd will not allow it so because <laughs> of the way that it looks the way it looks and i want the post up above to go literally straight above and on top of each post yeah creating the illusion that it's going straight through all the way to the column. So, yeah, and it just makes it stronger that way, I feel. So I'm gonna, instead of having to go, you know, to keep that A-frame style, I would have had to go 30 feet to that outer post and this outer post, which literally gives me a foot and a half off of the house this way and a foot and a half over there because the house is 33 feet. So that's just, it just wouldn't look right in my mind and everything. I was trying to imagine it, trying to look at it. And I'm like, just going to look really funny and weird if I do that. So me and Mel discussed it and to save ourselves headache of doing that, because it is a lot more work and it's a lot more uh, mathematical of trying to figure out everything else and a lot more complicated. So we're going to simplify it. Keep it simple, all right? And we're just gonna go straight off and come this way at a lean off of the house. Um, it's probably still gonna be on top of the roof, um, but we're not gonna know until we get up there and see. I'm shooting for a 312 pitch on it. So the metal that we are gonna be using, it says a minimum of 312 for that style. So I'm gonna definitely shoot for 312, maybe 412 pending. Might be right in that ballpark in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll, uh, once we get the post up there, we can figure out that length and where exactly it's going to attach. But. Yeah.
man. Why do I gotta be so OCD? <laughs> Why? Oh well. It's gonna look good when I'm done, all right? <laughs> this line is straight. It's just <laughs> this way, it's a little wavy. I bought myself a new bag and everything and I'm not using it right now. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna have to hop up here and just take out the screws for right now. Now, I have to give a huge shout out to White Rock. Cause uh, he definitely, I seen it a little bit when we were working and doing all of it. I really, really tried not to let it get to me or bug me when I seen it. And I was talking to him a little bit about it and he was like, hey, you, you could totally just shim it and do that. It would be easier. So I'm gonna do his suggestion on that one. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> Thankfully I had uh, other eyes looking at it other than mine. Ah. Because, yeah, I was sitting there scratching my head. I was like, man, I might just saws off from underneath and take off a little bit and then just move it down and blah, blah, blah. He's like, just pack a shim underneath it. It'll be all right. <laughs> and he is totally right. I can pack a shim underneath it. Totally can and it will be the same exact width as the joist because that's what I'm using, is that treated wood. And I should be able to level it out this way. And I was worried that it might take out this because I do need to have it angled going this way because the floor that we are putting in, they're going this way. So they're gonna be sitting on top of all these blocks that we're putting in and everything. And those need to be spaced at two foot on center, which they are. <laughs> but I need to, undo all these so I can get this thing to line up correctly. So. Guess I'll bring y'all along for the rest of it. So I got all of the all the joists undone. Thankfully, I only put one screw in <laughs> on all of them for right now. I'm gonna be uh, putting uh, joist hangers or uh, hurricane ties onto them as well. So they they ain't gonna go anywhere when it's uh, when it's all said and done. That's for sure. But you can see I'm almost leveling out right there which once I pull this up a tad here and there, it should, it should be there. So let's, uh, let's see, let's see where I can get it. Look at all these shims. I got your, I got your shimmy shimmy. Got your shimmy shimmy. I like got it. Got your shimmy shimmy. I like it a lot. <laughs> all right, baby, I'm gonna have you stop right there and give me a hand for this, cause I'm gonna take the folks along for this. And we have quite a bit 
and this should give me a good idea of what's going on. Yeah, so, so that way if you guys run into a similar mistake, you guys know how to fix it, or at least how we're fixing it, maybe it'll work for you too. Oh, I forgot the shims. <laughs> no, no, I, I need the ladder, so. Okay. You think, you think that's enough? I think that's enough. Oh. <laughs> I keep dropping them. All right. Damn it. <laughs> All right, you can come up here with those shims. Those shimmy shim shims. Shimmy shimmy cocoa, listen to it now. You want me to beat her in? Yeah, see if you can tap that guy in. Keep going. We are way off here. We're gonna have to probably beat that guy all the way in. Okay. We are finger tips. How close are we? Oh, oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me oh. put some. No, oh, we need a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. How about now? Keep going. We'll go in on this side. Still needs to come up. Whoo, baby, that's dead nuts. Dead nuts. That's dead nuts. That looks a lot better than what it was. I mean, that lifted it up literally almost a half an inch, three quarters of an inch. Only in this area from like where you're at till about yay. And then they're all level again. They're all touching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't have to shim too, too many, but just, it's like this board and like a little hair on that side. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Way mm -hmm. better than having to uh, plane the entire top. Correct. I don't know if you guys know or not, but uh, I like to keep things on the level. We actually have a shirt. You can check it out in the store right on over here. Let's keep it on the level, you guys. Okay, before I go too far and too crazy, I gotta really, I'm gonna go look at down the plane. I don't wanna be throwing it off. All right, let's, ooh, ooh. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Ooh, that looks, that literally looks so much better just by itself right there. Heck that yeah. Actually, that might be, that might have done it. That might have done it, folks. Because now, I mean, like, you can see how I have a little bit of tail sticking up over this guy here and there. That's fine if I have to plane that a little bit. I figured I would, you know. But with that big old bow, like, that's a, that's a lot to have to plane out of everything. Yeah, no, that's way better. What a great oh idea that was. Thank you again, White Rock Homestead, for uh, Jason. You really helped me out with that one. Yeah, he but was wearing a squirrel cap, that's He was, sure. I was sitting here scratching my head like, what in the world, <laughs> you know? And uh, yeah, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the shims, you know, and today I was like, how am I gonna make the shims? Which I was like, duh, I have all this freaking <laughs> scrap wood over there. Lots of scrap. Perfect for shims. Perfect. So, all right, we're gonna keep on doing this. Now I just gotta mess with the, the level coming back down and through and making sure that we're actually level keep it on the level now yeah keep it on the level all right i can probably bring you up just a tad over on that side That's a lot better, man. That looks, that looks good.
I like it. And that's how you keep it on the level. This side, we can't keep it on the level. We gotta let it slope down. Yeah, that needs to be the drain. Any moisture that comes up on the deck, it will go that way. Because, you know, water flows downhill. Now it's on to the posts and getting them into position to see if we like where they are. We're gonna get us a nice working area and then I'm gonna temporarily screw one of those posts off to one of the band boards, you know, mm -hmm. or the joists. And then we can figure out the height, overrun and rise and all that fun stuff and figure out where we need, where, where we're gonna need the band board up there. Okay. So, uh, well, I guess. Go team go. Yeah, go team go. Go team go. go oh, here, do it again. That sucked. <laughs> right, well, you moved your hand. Go team go. Go team go. Go team go. Got this. Love you. Love you. <laughs> right. I'm going to try to shimmy down from here so I don't have to walk all the way across there to get to the ladder again. Oh, yeah, huh? The ladder's all the way over it there. It is. I'm just going to bounce down from the kicker. Yeah, smart idea. I'm really, I'm really curious to see you achieve this. You've been getting over a lot of your goals or a lot of your fears, a lot of, you know. Reaching my goals of getting over fears? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You know what I meant. You know why? That's because you're so brave that you like lend a little bit of your bravery off on me, just well, like by me being around you. I don't know. That's not all you, baby. That ain't me. I'm sponging got, off of you. You gotta see, you gotta see it through and you know. I'm you sponging off of yourself. you, baby. That is, uh, that's all you, I'm just saying. You give me confidence. Well, you need the confidence. You have plenty of it yourself. I believe in you. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> was, that a, was that a weird feeling when you uh, started rotating over the beam? Yeah, I was like, just hold on. Chicken wing, chicken wing. <laughs> You used to play around on the swing set, you know? I know, but that was like pff, 30 years ago. You see a gap still, right? Between the wall and the board? Yeah, there's still a gap there. Yeah, there's a gap. Barely, but there's one. Yeah. No trappage. can stay there for right now. Might have to grab it here in a second. But Yay! <laughs> there's a runway for Mel. Yep, and there's going to be a better one here. In just a second. Yay! Just a second. Look at this, guys. I don't gotta do what Gary's doing right now. Mm. Okay, now we've got a, a good walkway. We ain't gonna fall. Yeah, no, this is nice. This is very nice. Right outside the door, right mm -hmm. outside that door. It's perfect. It's a good yeah. size. And I see you got that post up here already. I do have this post up here. I didn't want Mel to have to struggle 
with me because it's going to be a struggle regardless. <laughs> You're so thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. I don't need you. All right. You're already Aww. doing a lot of sweet things for me. So Aww. tried. I tried. All right. You already do a lot of sweet things for me. How about that short? Hey, how you doing, little mama? Let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> we got to figure out, are we going to be standing on top of this? Do we have the block where it's going to be? Or can it sit on the girder right above where the old post is, right? Looking at the grains, trying to see which, determine which way I'm going. So this one right here, is almost right out of the way of the the post. So let's do that one. That one where the hammer is. That's good. I'm just let's not have this knock off. So now, we're gonna stand it up. That should somewhat guide it in, you know what I mean? Yeah, this part right here? Yeah. Okay. Or it's not gonna. It's, there you go. There you go, right there, straight up. Just hold on real quick mm -hmm. before I send that guy. To the moon. To the moon! To the moon! I'm not worried too much about this way, I'm more worried about this way. You'd be right. Right there is good. That's good? Oh, that's still good. Yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out this length right here. How big of a board. Oh. That's 10 foot right there, huh? Hmm. 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 I have an idea. We'll see if it works out. I know I have a huge board over here. That looks like 12 foot. You. Nice. This is just so I have an idea. It's a, it's a little, it's a little wonky, like no tomorrow. But hey, it'll give me an idea, okay? Hey, it this works. Is, this is what I need. I'm gonna do a quick mathematical check real quick on this, just right here. You're gonna go down the tape measure on this and measure. We should be reading, let's see, six times three is 18. So it should be 18 inches from that to there. So find the level and try, no, 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 down. Go this down. This way? Yep. And measure. Oop. You want me to have it up and down like that? Right there and have it closer to me. Where is that reading at? That is 20 and a quarter. 20 and a quarter? Uh-huh. All right, well, that's fine. I mean, shoot. <laughs> there might be a little wonkiness in it. So the the bad part now is you got to figure out the angle this way. You know what I mean? So I can set it on it. Something like that. That's there. That's definitely not far enough up there. I can tell you that much right now. Just to 
so it doesn't come crashing down on us. And this is just our template, guys. It's just a template. It's not the joist at all. No. I gotta figure out how big a one I need. Tape measure. Tape measure. All right. Should be 18 inches from there. Which that definitely ain't it. I can tell you that much. Nope, not even close. It's that 512 pitch that's going to make it a little bit more difficult. How much higher do I need to go for it? Ooh. I'm only at 16, roughly. So it needs to go further up. Holy moly. Duly noted. This was a 12 foot board. So we're gonna need like a 16. So yeah, these are gonna definitely need or 14. These, like 16. Cause we're gonna want them we're gonna want an overhang right yeah yeah all right well now i know at least of where we're going to be somewhat that gets it that gets it pretty close pretty close that's gonna be interesting baby they're gonna be up there so all right so now what <laughs> so now we're basically at a point of we're gonna have to notch these because we are in a grants now mm -hmm. at first we were looking at it and being like man this is going to kill our view from the inside of the house you know but that would really require us to have a really high high post right here right like right now um no matter if that post if we put it on the top of that line or the bottom of that line it don't matter you're not going to see the top of that mountain line from uh, the kitchen sink. However, if you're sitting out here in some chairs, like in this area, um, you know, here, I'll even, I'll squat down for you. You're not going to see that top of that post, you know, when you're looking out, no. you'll still be able to see the top of the mountain line. Um, now when you stand up, I don't know how it looks on the GoPro, but from my naked eye, that top of that line cuts like halfway into that mountain a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, which honest, no matter which way you're going to look out, you're not going to see the top of the mountain. You do see a, a buttload of mountain though, but it's no matter what, if we're going to have a cover over this, which we all want a cover over this, um, either it, that's what it's going to be, or we're going to have to go with like super giant posts. And those are really pricey and we already bought these and I'm happy with this. Yep. So that makes me, uh, now have an idea of what I need to do for that, you know? That, that cut's going to be really funky on it. I see how it's like, wait, what? It's almost like a wedge itself. Yeah. It's like scrawny. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah. We are going to have another, like a band board underneath it. So it will rise it up a little bit more too. So it's just going to be interesting. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a little interesting, but we can make it work. It will do what it do. All right. It's going to do what it do. Exactly. So it's work coming together. I think uh, I'm going to want to bring this guy down. Now I know like pretty close to what it is. You know, this is going to end up having to be 16 footers, which means that this is going to have to be like 20 footers. <laughs> it is what it is. All right. <laughs> It'll work out. This gave me a really good idea of what we needed to do. We have figured out a lot on this. We are at a really good point where we can hit it and groove the next time we come out here because literally it's going to be notching posts and setting them up here. Yes. You know, and that's a tedious job and I'd want to notch them all down there. So that way we can come up here and we could just slap them into place and be yeah, done yeah. with it. No, assembly line, chop, assembly chop, line chop, chop. No, know, I hear you. I'll, I hear you. I'll get the post set and everything and then I'll have you come behind me with the blocking. Yeah. 
block it. Yep. So I think that we should call it. We can bring this guy down real quick. Okay. So that way it doesn't tobble down. I mean, I can pop the I can pop a screw in it. We don't I, have to bring it down. I was gonna say I don't think it's going anywhere. I mean, you I'll might notch, want to take. I'll notch this one up, up here, but every other one will notch down there. Okay. How about that? Okay. How about that? Sounds like a plan. All right. Well, that gives you guys an idea of what we're thinking. It still has to go up further and have more of a slope, but it is going to have to definitely be on top of the roof. So. I'll end up just calling it at a certain point up there. I'm gonna go inside and I'll show you guys that here in a minute too. And we'll just call it right at that point. And then whatever angle it is, it is what it is. Ooh, that scared the living it's out of me. Oh, all right. <laughs> hey, we have a house that's sealed up here. Mm -hmm. It's actually mighty warm in here. Yes, it is. I might want to open up the windows. Our giant fan will do nice. Mm-hmm. And another thing I got was uh, Gooby Gone, so we can do the window stickers. Yay! <laughs> Shouldn't be as bad. And me and Gary, now that we figured out where um, all of our electricity is going to go, we do have to spend some time up here uh, marking everything out for that and getting all that ready as well. Mm -hmm. Cause there's other things that we're gonna wanna do, like make sure that we mark for the lights to go outside. Cause we definitely want the back deck to have lights under there. Um, yeah, and, that's a good idea. Yeah do all the stuff, all the things. We need to figure out how many GFCIs we're gonna need and how big of a panel we need. And yeah. cause how much power, somebody had asked us a little while ago, how much power do we actually get for our whole house? It's really not that much. 200 amps. Yeah, so, compared to like a conventional city house, what do you get there? Well, there's some city houses that are still on 200, but they're moving a lot of, a lot of residential up to 400 and don't even get me started on commercial because <laughs> <laughs> we're not trying to consume that I, much no because our end goal is to be on solar yeah. um and like, we're trying to create a house that is a very tight envelope so that way we can save on the air and like the ac and the heating and we can have it super insulated as good as we can get it you know and we're trying to get that good uh, value out of our house mm -hmm. so but for our roof on the backside, I have a feeling where I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna measure out, do a span. But right where our joists come out to where it's solid, like that. That's straight up and down. It. Yeah, yeah. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that measurement and we're gonna do that. Yeah, you're because. talking about where this board is right here. Mm -hmm. from the joist straight up so that way it snaps right into that and it goes yep i mean you're a smart feller because yeah that would land perfectly right here it would land nice on the roof joist aspect we have all this bracing in here so <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna hold regardless <laughs> um, are you sure yeah it's going to be up here, but that should be good right there. And then on this side, when we do the A-frame, we can come past it a bit. We can come up. We might want to come up this way. Maybe where that top bracing is mm -hmm. underneath that one. But it all just really depends on where our ridges are lining up with everything like what we just did right there yeah. if i can get away with just being right here with the triangle coming out which i might be able to i don't see why not i don't see why not either because it's not like you know and we can have the same exact where it comes out yes so but yes. we'll see how that goes later on i guess but that's what i'm thinking so we'll just go there it looks like that that's where it's going to work out perfectly on that and uh yeah that makes me happy Today was a day full of lots of hard thinking kind of work. Think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Gary had to think about that one pretty deep. And I was of no use because, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Math. <laughs> it, it worked out though. Like it's, it's looking really, really good out there. It is. I'm, uh, I'm happy about that. We were able to manipulate and take out that, you know, issue with our deck. And we got that all lined up. Got it all lined up. And now we are on to posts. And yes. uh, 
it's not going to be much longer until we can hang those joists. Yep. And we're going to have to buy the joists too, though. Yeah. We, we don't have those boards. No, but. I didn't want to buy them and then be like, oh crap, I didn't buy yeah, them I'm big too, enough. I'm two feet short. Which I'm glad I didn't because I'm sitting there. I'm like, hmm, I would have, I would have bought in 16 footers too, you know, but at least now I know, hey, because I wasn't really thinking about the the other sides yeah that might be 24 so i'm yeah. glad that i held off on it and everything else 16 feet should work out but we will uh we'll tackle that here again before and i'll make uh, make sure once the posts are in and everything else i'll trouble check before i order those because yeah. it doesn't take much to get those mm -mm. no well, now at least we have a really good game plan moving forward. Um, all this stuff, guys, is steps that you have to do in order to get to the end goal. Yes. Might not always be uh, glamorous or exciting, but these are all very necessary steps in order to get where you want to be. And where we want to be is having a covered deck. Yes. For real soon. Real, real so, soon. So, yeah. Yes. Another step in the right direction. Gary and I are going to call it, guys. It is Valentine's Day. I'm going to get down. I got to cook Gary a nice juicy steak. Um, I'm making myself some fish and I'm making some chicken for the kids. So we're all kind of having little different things and the kids are going to be home really soon. So yes. Gary and I are going to be calling it for today. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I hope that you guys had a very happy Valentine's Day today. Yes. Yeah. And if you guys, I hope you have somebody that you love that you could share it with. And if not, we thank you guys for sharing your time and your love with us. It's an honor. Yes. And it's a, uh, it's been a blast. But we're going to go on down and enjoy our Valentine's Day. Yeah. So I hope you guys have a good one. And uh, we will catch you guys on the next one. Later, later. Later, later. <laughs>